Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another episode of Ephemeral Tale, a cool turn-based, classically inspired RPG. That's a mouthful, but uh, it is an awesome game. It's a lot of fun, and we're going to go in here and, and do some more exploring. We are in the occluded oasis, and uh, we did a little bit of exploring in the last episode. We drained some water, we fought some enemies, and we found out some stuff. But we've got a lot more exploring to do, so let's get to it and see what we. I would. I. I need to get down there. There is so much in this game that is down on the lower section that uh, we have to eventually kind of explore it all and I'm not sure uh how we go about exploring all of it there is places where there's ladders that go down into the area but uh we kind of have to find those and then kind of find our way back I guess is the way to do it I am not going to be able to go yeah so we have to find our way to one of the ladders that drop us down into the lower area and then kind of make our way back to this area i don't know if i could squeeze down through here but we could try run along the edge here now i don't know if these yeah those trees are not going to let me by um oh we got our first encounter the encounters are uh what is the word Ra random or um I'm trying to think of the word that rpgs typically use it's not yeah random encounters i guess is the uh, correct uh, term. It's like surprise encounters or something. It's not where you see the creatures out. They just kind of pop out of the ground um, whenever. Uh, so these mermen, we ran into this before. These mermen, mermen do not seem to like to attack very often. Uh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't, but um, we seem to be doing a pretty good. We got some boots and the cover of the sea. Um, in the last episode, I was really surprised that the uh, dev actually made a comment on my last video, gave us some good information. Uh, one of those being the equipment I talked about in the last episode, where some of the equipment has a durability, but there's no max. There is no max. Um, so uh, it could I, I could use the repair kit to increase the durability and it could just continue to be increasing to whatever. Um, also, the collars are um, uh, rarity, basically. I don't know the rare. I would say like white is real common or no magic. Then green would be a little bit less common. Then blue would be even less than that. And then I guess purple would be, you know, the rare or red. If there's yellow, purple or... or um, uh, that yellow would be the rarest maybe so we got a couple cover of the seas it looks like a very mat wow that does I don't want that at all <laughs> uh, that moves down a lot of my stuff uh, but makes me very agility but I don't like that I really really don't like that dropping down that much um, the armless vest increases my attack up quite a bit and my agility uh, but everything else goes down. Even my life goes down on that. I, yeah, grab this uh, slime coated slime coat right from the beginning, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, hiking boots. I want to see what these hiking boots do. Nah, lock hit. That's my hit. Uh, crit chance agility. I wonder what some of these things do. Like, what does agility do for me? Um, and I also wonder. If the hiking boots give me the plus three to look, luck, or do they give me the plus five to agility, which then gives me a plus three to luck, a plus one to hit, and a plus one to crit? Um, I'm kind of curious of how the um, stats from the equipment transfer on stats to me. Um, now, do they just give me attack, defense, magical attack? Magical defense and agility and then those five stats confer to everything else. I'm not sure about that uh, But we do have a few items that have very varying durability He also the dev also mentioned that once an item gets down into the 30s is where he starts to worry about it So what we're gonna do 
is grab a small repair kit, which repairs 20 durability on all equipped items. So let's go ahead and use that. And I'm going to assume that it worked. <laughs> so my, we go back in here, we should see that. Yeah, it did. Sweet. So we got a little bit more durability out of our items, but we need to continue our search for a, um, a way down into that down below and it's not going to help me up here that's for sure because oh there's one but i don't know oh, a cave let's go into the cave mysterious cave awaits us one of the things i like to do when i do video games like this especially when i'm doing them it's a new game and i'm doing them blind is not only a little bit of talking about random things uh, such as you know D and D or, or what you know what have you whatever that happens to be popping into my mind. Um, maybe it's you know D and D like I said or um, some mechanic of games or something about retro gaming or you know there's a lot that could be just random thoughts. But what else I like to do, especially when I'm going through a game, is really talk about the game. What I like about the game. And uh, in a strategy game with this, with so many different equipment items, I'm trying to go through uh, some of the items to kind of give a little bit of idea of where I'm coming from, some strategy maybe that I'm thinking about, um, that sort of stuff. And I'm hoping that helps you all as well as you go through it. The game is... Um, what is the it's in early access so probably things will change over time i don't know i picked something up but i don't know where it is what it, where it uh what item it was it wasn't a weapon was it oh scepter of the worlds it is a weapon but it's all magic yeah that's quite a bit of um but we don't have increased magic damage by 20 percent lowers magic uh, cost by 20% that's pretty nice um I don't think that's what we got though I'm feeling it was something else but maybe oh it was this all seers vision that's what we picked up uh lowers encounter rate interesting not necessarily something I would want I mean there are times that that's possibility if you're low on health or something like that I could see that wanting the lower encounter rate would be a good thing uh but most often i think that you would want that to be um actually if anything i'm find, finding the counter rate in the game to be a little lacking it's a little low and i know there are times in rpgs where all you want to do is get to point uh you know to the next place that you're trying to go to uh and you keep on getting those random encounters and it's a little frustrating, but I seem to be going quite a big distance here and not hitting anything. So not saying that that's a necessarily a bad thing. Uh, the flip side of too much can also be a problem. I'm trying to find anything really. Oh, some frogs. They don't look like very, they are definitely grump toads. I would, yeah, that is a very applicable uh name for those things they oh man i hit the other one man Ooh, swell in size oh that's not good let's hit him and see if that ew, i don't like grump tail grump toads are getting big i don't want big grump toads i feel that they're using some kind of like uh defensive ability where if they use this ability for a couple rounds then they could like hit me harder in you know a later turn or something like that um so i'm thinking they're doing some kind of like a stat ability or something Ooh, an armless vest seven and a fitted chainmail. getting a lot of items not that i'm complaining but i'm like oh not head uh body um there's just a lot to go through so level eight uh, my health i don't want my health to go down by 62 points uh that's yo no or 78 wow uh but that's kind of nice it moves up my magic attack i'm not using any magic that's fine 
but agility, luck, hit, evade, and crit all go up for a drop in uh, 68 my health. Wow. Um, Norma has no abilities, but this does have an ability of some sort, doesn't it? Um, currently equipped. Oh yeah, grants 20% maximum HP. That's what it does. Uh, so that's probably why I'm losing that HP. Um, do these all? Yeah, they all do that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab that. So, so stuff like that, you got to be careful. So this is not giving me, because it lowers my agility by 20. So if I go to this, this is not giving me agility. Losing the other thing is bringing the agility back. So if I switch off of the slime coated slime coat, I'm getting my agility back and my HP goes back down to normal. I got to remember that. Um, so besides that, what am I getting? Um, the armless vest lowers my defense. I really don't want to do that. Um, I kind of like all this. Let's try this for a little bit. It doesn't have any real abilities. Um, the cover of the sea seems to be much more magic orientated. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the fitted chain mail, I think. Uh, oh, but this has, this is blue. So I would think this is a little bit more magical, but it doesn't seem to be. That doesn't lower my attack. This one does not lower my attack or my increases my defense this is really weird how some of these are working out let's go with this i think this is a better choice i think because it's blue maybe there's a little bit of magical magicalness into it um i'm really trying to find something here and i don't believe there's anything here to find unfortunately um it just seems the encounter rate seems a little low and there seems to be not enough going on in some of this. I feel that it's almost too open, if that makes a sense. We got these big long areas, they're interconnected um, and they're not giving me a whole lot, it seems like. Well, the grump toads were about where they were last time. I guess that makes sense because I was running into them. Um, I left them and uh, you know they, they just stayed there and ooh I got a bow <laughs> I like how the I do like how when you kill one of the enemies it shows the item kind of there so you kind of get an idea of what's going to come up so I get a bow a pretty crimson bow level six let's see what that does I'm just so like amazed with some of these things a bow would go on my head I would think a pretty crimson bow. Let's see how it would uh, increase my attack a little bit. It gives me a little bit of stuff, but nothing. It looks ma major here. Um, let's just keep the studded helmet on, I guess. Let's. I kind of like to be down in here, but there's the cave up there. Was all that I was found. I'm supposed to be in here. And the premise of this is I'm going to have to find some kind of blessing. There is um, three areas in the game. And those three areas, there is a blessing that I need to find in each area in order to continue on to the next area and then eventually uh, beat the game. But uh, there are seems to be not enough going on is like almost my main complaint here i like it i'm having a lot of fun playing the game but there just seems to be a little lacking in um uh, the i don't know they're just yeah it, i don't know if it's just the um encounter rate that seems to be uh, low or there's something else that could be put in here, but it just doesn't seem to be a 
a whole lot there. I didn't get any items on that. That's a little uh, disappointing. But let's see. I, maybe I'm just wandering around in the circles too. That's always a possibility. Let's go off this way and see if we can find anything else. I want to go down here. And that is part of the problem is that I'm going to end up just walking in circles here. There needs to really... Uh, an overworld map or something or an item that I can get that's an overworld map would be kind of cool um I keep on running into oh okay I was gonna say keep on running into um what are those things called mimics but see here there's I get to go down but there's nothing there Ooh, I like these little gelados I, I again I'm very oh ooh, ooh, what hit me I'm paralyzed. That's not good. Um, out. Uh, ow. Okay. I'm shocked and in water. Um, that's. Ow. Will you stop that? I like that they're splashing me though. Um, I'm not sure what effect that has, but they're definitely splashing me with water. I think it's lowering my. Can I get him? Is it lowering my magic? He seems to be waiting now. He was hitting me, but I don't use any magic, and I'm curious if the splashing me with water was losing my magic because it was a little bit lower. Um, gloves will probably be an accessory. Leather gloves. Level nine. No. Attack. I mean, attack, defense, magic attack is kind of nice. Uh, lock down quite a bit though. I don't have pirates about, but I could try the, like the regular leather gloves. I do have level gloves level six. Um, moves my attack up, my mana up a little bit, but not a whole lot. I kind of wish if, like, let's go. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Let it now. Equipment. Uh, leather gloves. So if I go to like my leather, I have two of these and they're different, which is interesting that that's another thing that I find very interesting in this game is that it looks like things have random stats. So like this is two level nine leather gloves and they're going to give me two completely different things, uh, which I find very interesting. Um, not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's it's just very interesting how it uh, works out. And I do notice that, like, the items that has no abilities, the magic and the abilities that an item may have are separate. And I'm curious about that. I wonder if... Uh, let's say like the magicness of an item or the rarity. I guess the rarity is what the color is. So the rarity determines, oh, this is not going to be fun. Uh, the rarity is going to um, uh, determine the how much a certain thing could give to me. So let's say if an item has five um i don't know like like a like a normal item has five qualifiers that it could be put on a, on an item okay then a you know a blue item or a green item which would be i would say the green would probably be the first magic um the green item may have six qualifiers that they could put on um, and then, you know, the blue, which may be the next could have, uh, four or, you know, so you could see that as you, you know, get higher, you have more qualifiers that you could put onto a magic item and then maybe separately, or maybe as the magic items or the items go up in rarity, they have a higher chance of having a, um, higher chance of having a um what's the word um an ability or a, yeah a magic ability let's go and check out some of that equipment i got a lot of equipment 
uh, there, but I don't, not sure. And the nice thing is the last thing you get is on the bottom. So that's kind of neat. Oh, and it tells you that they're new as well. Um, it has no abilities, but wow, it lose luck. Defense, that's a pretty nice one. Um, and then again, some of this is what it gives me. It's the difference between my steel studded helm and the crimson bow. So remember that this is not lowering my defense by five. It's because I'm taking the helm off. It's lowering my defense. Um, I'm going to take this blue one, level nine. Um, let's see. I got this. There was, I think, something. A fitted chainmail eight. That's interesting. And a world, and neither have any... Um, that's just a shield. Hmm. Just trying to see what all is available. I don't know if there was... I do like that they give you the little new icon down there. Level 8 gloves. But again, they're... Yeah. See, I'm thinking maybe... What I need to do... Can I equip nothing? What is... Can I... Can, I can do basic shoes, which give me probably the very basic. But I can go here now that boots... Well, these level four boots, level two boots seem to give me a lot. I, I don't think you can get rid of. Now I forget what I had on here. <laughs> uh, oh, I had the, no, this ring because it has an ability of 5% uh, HP regeneration. That's what I had there. Um, increases the amount of random chests. Oh, it tells me right there. I can get it. Uh, interesting. There's quite a bit of play that you can do in your items and I haven't fully comprehended all that could be done here yet. There's something there. Those stones looks like something, uh, but uh, I'm not sure how to get down there. I think I was down over in this area in the last episode. I think there was, was it over? I have to go up. I think it was over again and I can go down because that where the big red button was and then I'll come back across. Oh, I can't really see there has to be a way to get down there. And there really isn't. I don't see a way. Oh, gosh. OK, let's go back up there because I was thinking that you go down in a certain area and then you're able to come back up you know you go down and then you will be able to see yeah you go down in another area and then once you're on the lower level you can come back um on the lower level but i'm not finding a way to get over there um and i'm a little curious to get there I would also, I do know from the demo uh, that there are other people. Uh, you can't have, uh, a, a, I don't know, another person in your party, I guess you could say, uh, and have two people fighting for you. Um, so I'm a little uh, curious as to when that happens and how that comes about. That looks like some kind of cool uh, dragon armor there. Kill the uh, merman. Ooh. Slime coat is slime coat level 10. Wow, and a pirate map level 9. Well, uh yeah, I think we're gonna equip the that was body though. What does the nine one do? Um oh the fitted. Wow, we got oh, this is so many different things uh going on here. Just don't know. That seems like a lot. This purple one, this light purple one seems like it does quite a bit for me. Um, you know what? I'm going to go back to that. Just so much here. There's also these other pirates map that does a lot of luck. It looks like a lot of, a lot of luck items. 
Um, those are my defense by two on my magic attack. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't really need, let's do all kinds of uh, magic. So let's follow this. There's no down, there's no left, there's a right. So let's see if we can right. Is there, there's no down. I'm looking in the lower level to see a way into this place. So there's no down. So I have to come over from the right here. So let's keep following this over. Okay, yeah, here. So there's no down. I keep on, and let's see if there's no up. There's no up or down. So let's go back over to the right. I'm trying to find the way down into that. There has to be a way some way. Okay, there is a down. Interesting. Um, I get a little turtle here, a calm. Oh, you look pretty, uh, pretty heavily protected. I really need some up my defense. I'm doing a very little damage, I think. I mean, my crits are pretty nice. But, uh, I really wish I could do be doing a little bit more damage here. It takes a lot of hits to kill these guys, I feel. So if I can go, oh no, it broke. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good. I was not paying attention. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, oh no, 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 shoot. Um, wow. Okay, so let's grab that, I guess. And then, you know what? No, I'm gonna go with the basic sword with the basic sword that's really not good i should be paying more attention to that let's see my equipment again see if anything is 104 140 82 okay we're doing pretty good so far so there is a down out of is there does it seem to be an up not in the lower direction so let's see if we can go down and trace this in a way that I can't go down from here. This is going to be really confusing. Uh, so I can't walk down from here. Let's see if I can go over one. We're going to have to like men mentally map this out. If I go down from here, I need to go back over to the right one. Oh, okay. So I know, well, we're at the, I can't go over to the right one. And how in the world do I get there? Oh, we got to find a way down on the left. Go down. We're going to have to make a huge loop around here, around this whole uh, enclosure, I think. So let's see if we can hurriedly get over there and see if we can make this big old loop. I think that's going to be the idea is that we're going to have to... Go over here and do something. Go down. Oh no, a gelados. That's not good. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I want to see. Oh no, I didn't mean to attack the fish. I wanted to attack this. I wanted to attack the uh, gelados because that's what's hurting me. No, it doesn't appear that the water is. The water is uh, taking my mana away. It seems to be taking my health away, which is not really what I wanted to do. Yeah, that really hurt me, but uh, I kind of had to do that because I wanted that. I needed, really, really needed that electricity guy to go away. I don't know what the soaked in water really does, though. No. Ah, come on. Fish splashes around in the desert. That makes a whole lot of sense. An armless vest. See if we can make it over here as quick as we can. I kind of would like to see some change in the... I mean, we got a big sprite of him walking around. I would really like to see that sprite be able to be changed. Um, depending on something he's wearing. I mean, like the armless vest, make it so that his sleeves are gone or so, you know, something, it doesn't have to be like real big change, but uh, I would think it'd be kind of cool to have something there. So 
So first of all, we got to find the down again. And then we need to try to find the way to the down and around it. And I'm not sure that's even possible. Or maybe it's in a cave or something. There it is, the down. Maybe this is not the right, I don't know. Maybe this is not the right down or not the right way I need to go or I need somebody else's. Oh, I needed somebody else to do this. Help me with this, wasn't it? Storage too helpy. Yeah, maybe someone else is strong enough to open it. Shoot. But I have no idea if that's... And this appears to be completely blocked off. The only way I can think of is if I go... Let's get rid of this stupid... Well, I think it is time to head back. We are running out of time, and unfortunately, we really haven't got much. We've gotten a lot of new items, but we haven't really gotten any any farther, unfortunately. Um, ooh, we didn't even we didn't hit that guy. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We're leveling up. We've got probably a lot of power, and we'll be able to get a lot more... Um, uh, skill points once when we get back there but uh yeah it doesn't really i'm really kind of confused unless there's something that i have to be so high of a level to get another partner that maybe that's it um i'm not sure how i'm going to be able to get down there um again i could be completely missing uh something as well as i wander around here completely uh confused and being attacked constantly oh no some grump toads i really can use a, another uh weapon of some sort as well i'm not really getting hurt too bad so i'm not worried about escaping or anything Ooh, looks like i got a bow in that one that's kind of cool another weapon would be really nice I don't think my damage is doing very well because of, um, I got that basic, basic, uh, weapon here. What man? What are I? Okay. So we got a mallet. Oh, wow. That's yeah. I got a quick loader, which really doesn't help me at all. Um, uh, mallet level nine lowers my defense, but it's. So yeah, lowers my de grants a 50% attack, but lowers my defense. Not really that good. Um, no abilities. Does this one have no web? Okay, let's go ahead and do this and see what the how that works out for me. I'm really kind of confused here. This is not the way I want to go. I need to get back to the back to the camp. Is the way we go. Okay, we are back at the camp, and uh, I gotta say that not I. I got into one battle. Nothing exciting happened. We're going to see if we can get some uh, power here and get some more uh, sp uh, skill gems. And we'll probably get a few. I don't know how many it'll give us. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I'm a little confused about where I need to go and what I need to do over there. But we'll have to do some more searching and looking and that sort of stuff and trying to figure it out. Um, I'm very much enjoying like the different characters and the different uh, monsters that we're coming up against, as well as the plethora of uh, equipment that we are getting and having to kind of sort through as well. Um, really enjoying that part of it. It just It's interesting to see all the different equipment and how it works. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.